Okay, we're back for the next step, which is the top coat. So <laughs> I typically use this polyvine top coat. And this one here is a satin finish. It comes in a dead flat finish as well. The satin finish is uh, stronger, more durable. So I always start with a satin finish. And then if I want less sheen, I follow it up with the dead flat, which isn't really dead flat. It's just doesn't have the sheen that this does. So, um, and the way I do it is I pour the polyvine into, you can see how thick it is. It's very um, uh, mayonnaise-y, maybe a little, less, little more watery than mayonnaise, but um, I pour it into a little container and I'll show you why, because what I use to top coat is I take a sponge. This is literally just like, this is this, I got these sponge, this set of sponges at the resale store, like a resale store, but I use dollar store sponges all the time and a socket, just a little sock thing. And I put the sponge inside the sock and tuck the end in. And then this is what I use to top coat. Now, I've already top coated these two drawers, which is why this has black on it, because I top coated pretty quickly after I painted. And so, um, so some of it rubs off. But this is the reason that I, I, I put my top coat in a special container so that when I put this in, I'm not recontaminating what's in the bottle. Now, this bottle obviously is too big, but if you were doing if you were using a, poly, a polycrylic or another form of top coat and you put the brush in, if you use a brush, if it's wiping off some of the paint that you've already painted, you're putting that paint back in the can if you're using it from a can. So that's why I, I do it in a separate um, container and I use um, my little applicator here. The other thing I always have on hand is a little touch up brush and you'll see why uh this one it won't be so bad i'm just gonna i'm gonna flip the camera down so you can just see the drawer again and i've got a little you can see i just have a little swipe of um top coat on there so i'm gonna do the top here making sure so if you can see there it's still light in um i haven't gotten inside the crevice not set up very well here but um, so I'm gonna take this little I'm gonna take this little brush and I'm gonna get that crevice and sometimes I think you can see right here there's a little swash of white I don't want white I want it clear one of the reasons I love polyvine over any other top coat that I've used no I haven't used them all um, but I've tested quite a few the reason I love polyvine is because I can go back over it. If I were to do that with a polycrylic or even the Rust-Oleum matte finish, um, and you can watch, I have a whole video on these, some of these other, some other um, top coats. But if I were to go over that, it would pull back up. And um, so, I don't want that. I don't want it to pull back up. Let me touch this up here. I don't know if you can see this, but I've actually pulled a little bit of the paint off here. So I'll probably have to go back over that again after. So again, I'm just gonna, um, and it took me a long time to realize somebody had um, recommended polyvine. I have to order it online. So it's not something you can get, um, certainly not in Canada at one of the hardware stores so but it's worth it to me i just stay ahead of it and make sure i always have some on hand and the reason i love it is it took me a long time to figure out is that most polycrylics are top coats poly top coats if i were to have brushed back over that again it would pull back up um, and make like a smudge um, so it doesn't like you going back over it. Polycrylic is very forgiving, or this polyvine is very forgiving. And um, it's the reason that uh, it's my favorite because I, I don't fight with it the way I fought with other um, top coats. All right, that's top coating. I'll come back in a minute for waxing.